Well, you guys got another video here for you. Quite a few people have asked how to set up a free VPN on Windows 11. I'll show you how to do it today. You can use this method on Windows 10 as well. So this is a, a free VPN that you can use. And let me show you how to set it up. First off, you're going to need to get OpenVPN client here and you can download this for free. And this will be a place where we can put our uh, VPN bundles into here. And I'll show you how to set all this up in a second and I'll show you it working as well so you can see how to set this up. Make sure you read all the information on the page here. Now VPN book have been around for quite a while but they do offer some free VPNs if you are looking to use a free VPN. So free VPN recommended here. You can see free open VPN is in the central area here. This is the area we'll be looking at. They do places all around the world, USA, uh, France and uh, California and places like that. So check those out and download the actual packages. It tells you here, optimize for fast web surfing, no peer-to-peer -peer downloading. So that's basically what they're for. They're for uh, surfing the web and things like that. So if you're looking for a free VPN where you don't want to spend any money, then this is your option or one of your options available to you. So I'm going to download a bunch of packages here or bundles, and we can use those in our client. And I'll show you how to set all this up in a second. So once you've downloaded your uh, certificate bundles here for your OpenVPN, you're going to see down the bottom there's going to be a username and password that you're going to need to use, okay? So these are the ones we're going to be using. So write those down into a notepad and we should be good to go. So let's get on with the installation of the software. So I'm going to create a folder on here and I'm just going to call this a VPN and profiles. And these are the profiles that we've downloaded, okay? So what we need to do here is go to our download section and I'm going to open these up and you can see there's a bunch of profiles inside here which we can actually use. So I'm going to drag these and put them into this folder here. So let's just drag and drop them and extract them out of this uh, zip file. And of course, because I'm in the UK, I'm going to need to get somewhere close to me, which is France here. So I'm going to uh, get these ones here. There's three of them inside here. So I shall uh, quickly right click here and make another folder here and we'll just call this uh, France. There we go. And we'll put them in there. So let's just drag these out and we've now got these extracted into a folder. So let's go ahead and get our OpenVPN uh, software or client installed onto our machine. So I'm going to go ahead and get this installed. Go through the motions here, just click install, say yes here and then we can get this installed on our system. This is going to install our OpenVPN uh, client here. That's now done, and we can now open this up, and we can add in our uh, profiles that we've got here. So you'll see, basically, it will give you some information here on how to import profiles into your OpenVPN uh, Connect client here. So let me just quickly show you how to do this. So you have to agree to their terms and conditions here, and I'm going to agree to this, and then we can move on. Again, it's just going to give us some more information here and it says URL or file. So we're going to go to file here, click browse, and we're going to now navigate to these profiles that we've got. So let me go ahead and uh, navigate to the VPN profiles folder on my desktop. I'm going to go to France here and we're going to add one of these in. Click open and we can add this in. Now we need to add in our username. Now our username was VPN book. So you need to use VPN book as your username inside here. So you can copy and paste it or you can type it out, whatever floats your boat. And uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, type this out there. Lovely. Save our password. And now we need to put that password in there, which we got from the uh, VPN book website here. So I'm going to paste that in. And you can click connect or you can click on profiles or enter. And this will let you add more profiles in. So you can see we're now connected to our free VPN here. So let's open up a web page and take a look at how it loads pages. Now, some of these are going to vary in speed depending on how many people are using them. So let me just show you here what they look like. So we'll go to what's my IP and we can see our IP has changed here. So th this should be in France or somewhere like this. So let's take a look. And you can see by the information here, it's telling us that we are in France and we can get the location there as well. And it's given us an IP address of France as well. Now, if you want to add some more profiles in here, you can do. You can just basically click on the plus sign down at the bottom here, 
and then go ahead and go over to file and add in some more profiles. You might want to use more than one profile uh, because this will give you access to other servers. So you can just paste these in and use the same username and password as you used before because it's VPN book, the username, and you would need to use that password. You can save all this information in your uh, client here so you don't have to keep adding it in. And you can click OK here and it will go ahead and then connect to that one as well as you can see here so now i've added three profiles in here and what we can do is we can click on either one of these and we can do some browsing so let me show you what they're like to browse with on the internet so you can get an idea so none of these pages are cached here and you can see them loading up pretty quickly so it's good for browsing uh, as you can see no problem at all loading these pages up and you can uh, use these on a daily basis if you want to use a vpn and again they are free and people wanted to know how to add a free vpn to uh, windows 11 you can use this on windows 10 as well you just follow the same uh, process for windows 10. now check their website for information about this uh, service before you start using it the privacy policy is on the screen right now it's on their website so you can read it our privacy policy is simple we respect your privacy we do not collect any personal information or store any users internet data the only thing we log is your ip address and the time the connection was made we log connection information in order to reduce abusive activities and keep the free free vpn service online for all legitimate users so there you go right there it's a pretty much a vague privacy policy but they have told you exactly what they collect so it's not uh, you know a complete no login system so would i use a free vpn no that's just me but a lot of people don't have the money and they don't want to spend any money and they want to use a free vpn this is basically a free vpn so you can do all your own research but some of the things you may run into is vague privacy policies minimal customer support if any customer support limited servers limited speeds maybe some sort of uh, data uh, cap on stuff that you use i'm not too sure on this site and also no customer service because it's all free so these are the things you have to take into account there's probably a lot more things that you can go through and you can do your own research on that personally this is not a recommendation to use free vpns this is a tutorial on how to set a free vpn up it doesn't mean i am recommending that you go out and do it it's probably going to be okay for just surfing the web and things like that if you wanted to do that but at the end of the day the choice will have to be yours and yours alone with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. I just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who are joining my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.